On July 17th, Eric Gardner, a father of six and beloved member of Staten Island, was placed under arrest for the illegal sale of cigarettes. Officer Daniel Pantaleo placed Eric into a chokehold, a method banned by the NYPD, to subdue him. Despite calls from Eric of I can't breathe, the officers went through with the arrest and shortly thereafter, Eric Gardner died. Cops are basically now just stopping people for nothing and they're just doing like groups of things, um, harassing people. Um, and as you can see in the news, the guy actually passed away from it. So, I mean, we just gotta get a breakdown. That's why a lot of people don't have respect for the cops nowadays now. So, it's starting to feel like a really big issue now. I just want them to do the right thing, you know? Because just like if it was one of their children, they'll fight for justice for their own child. You know, so for my brother, that's all I want. That's all I'm asking for. And a respect for me. That's it. No fuss, no fight, no war. Just justice and a proper perspective. That's it. I agree. That type of behavior ends today. So whether you're in Staten Island, Queens, Brooklyn, or the Bronx, or Manhattan, it ends today. And this entire city, we stand with you to make sure that the message is clear from, from, from Bed-Stuy to Bensonhurst to Brownsville to Staten Island. It ends today. 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 spoke about this from the commissioner on down and it also has to deal with sensitivity in urban communities you know because a lot of things there's a there's a, there's a disconnect between the, um, people in uniform and a lot of people in the community so we're trying to make sure that a lot of more communication needs to take place and a lot more sensitivity to the people that are actually maybe a little bit more unfamiliar with dealing with people that, that are in uniform and I think sometimes just a little bit of communication and better training will stop situations like this from occurring Sir, it's a mess. Come on, we're here to help, alright? We're here to help you. We're getting the stretcher, alright? I'm actually EMT. Um, what she did, I'm not going to stand up. What she did was absolutely wrong. No sleep, no CPR, no nothing at all. Like, um, she just basically just took the police word on it that he was unconscious and that he didn't have to breathe in. Well, I know nobody could have CPR because they don't have CPR. Like, they don't have CPR. 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 Whenever you're talking about serving and um, serving and protecting the community, it's just being um, being wary and mindful of your your neighbors, your peers, your friends, the elderly, and you know making sure that if something does become a, a, a issue of public safety, that you're aware and if there's something that you can do to help it or actually defuse the situation, you do the best you can to do that. Sometimes that's just policing ourselves. You know, if somebody was nearby, to say, you know, um, if somebody could have defused the situation, it could have been another officer that could have defused the situation. It could have been a higher ranking officer that could have defused it. it. It's so many different ways. And when you're speaking to the youth, it's just being aware, because it might be some of one young kid that was there that actually may grow up to be an officer. If you could have learned from that situation, then hopefully his life wasn't taken in vain. Eric Gardner's death is a horrific reminder that recorded police incidents consisting of harassment and abuse are becoming common occurrences within minority neighborhoods. As citizens, we must continue to capture these altercations on camera and question the institutions set in place that allow these incidents to occur. Oh my brother, I know him. And just to hear him say I can't breathe, you know? I can imagine what he was going through, so it hurt me. And I don't, I don't want to see it or hear it again, so I don't even really turn my TV on no more.